Hello, hello YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of the Tommy Tuck and Breast Augmentation series. This is episode six. Episode six, like we've literally turned this into a whole series. Um, and so at the moment, it's five weeks post-op um, and it's all about getting back into training. So as I spoke about in my last video, if you haven't already watched that one, please go back and watch it because that was my first training session back after getting approval from my surgeon that I was able to get back in the gym. But since then things have progressed. Um, my surgeon said I can get back to training upper body and that is what this week has all been about. It's basically just been trying to see where I'm at because as you guys will know, if you've been following me along, I am a bodybuilder, I'm a physique competitor. So getting my tummy tuck to remove my loose skin from when I was very overweight and then getting my breast augmentation has been a big impact on like the time that I would spend training. So four weeks completely away from the gym and now getting back into training as of week five, it has been quite interesting. Lower body has been feeling fantastic and I'm really, really impressed with how things have been going, especially as you'll see in the last video, episode number five. So this week, it's time to properly get back into things. I have a new training program, an upper lower split from my coach. My food has been increased. Um, I've got about 1900 calories on training days and 1800 on rest days and it's time to start heading into um an improvement phase and, and getting back into the gym and you know putting on some tissue that i um you know haven't been able to do in quite a while so i actually went back to the gym and i did an upper session and that's what this video is going to be about it was <laughs> it was pretty humbling um and let's just say upon reflection it was not necessarily what I expected it to be, but I'm going to show you guys the honest truth of what it's like getting back into training upper body, especially um, as a physique competitor after breast augmentation tummy tuck. So here you go guys, enjoy it. Okay, so it's finally time to get back to some upper body training. I'm really, really excited. So today we're just gonna run through some uh, some light push movements, mainly some like delt isolation work, and then also just try and do some, some pulling movements as well. Um, this is the new program written by my coach. So it's literally first session properly back to just see what I can do. Um, so we're gonna get stuck into uh, a horizontal row, unilateral horizontal row. Um, I'm anticipating that this is gonna feel good. Um, uh, but let's see, because if, it, if anything doesn't feel good, I'm going to have to stop. And then we're going to have to think of a substitution, so hopefully it's going to be okay. it's feeling actually really good like I can completely feel that I'm isolating my lap my chest isn't coming into play at all so it feels quite good um, so I think we're safe on this one okay next exercise is a like a narrow grip pull down um, I'm gonna use the narrow grip mag bar I'm apprehensive about doing anything like that's overhead just because I can't fully like extend my arms up it feels a little bit uncomfortable I can, but it just doesn't quite feel right just yet. Like almost like there's a little bit of tightness. So we'll see how this goes. If it doesn't feel good, then I'm just not gonna do it, but I'll go really, really light. That doesn't feel good already. Just even stretching up to that position. I feel like if someone could bring it down for me, then maybe I'll be able to pull it down. No, literally feels so strange. I put it on the lightest. Pull it down from here. See, this feels okay, but it's actually full, full extension at the top. It doesn't feel good. What I'm gonna do instead is there's um, a diverging that pull down, almost like a, it's got like a D handle. So I'm gonna try that instead because my starting position isn't quite as far up where I have to be fully extended. So I think that'll probably feel better. Okay, here's hoping that this feels better because I don't have to reach so high for the handles. Okay, that feels better already. Oh, this is so much better. 
I just can't like fully extend my arms. But I can mainly feel that here, which is good. Do you want to know how much this weight is, guys? It's literally 10 kilos. Slow and steady wins the race. really just today taking it like a couple of sets seeing how it feels and leaving at least two reps in reserve because if i'm overzealous i could really just fuck something up right now okay so next up on this incredibly humbling menu of upper body exercises uh, i've got a straight arm pull down i'm going to use two long ropes i hope if i don't bring my arms up like too far it should feel okay uh, but yeah let's see different lengths that's not gonna work is it how have we got ropes that are different lengths fuck's sake man all right let me sort out this rope situation first right then at least we've got some equal fucking ropes now we might have a chance of making this work beautiful Okay, here is the furthest that my arm will come up. Otherwise, it's just an uncomfortable stretch. So like, basically, this is the range of motion. But it is hitting my lats very nicely. <sighs> oh, that felt a bit of a twinge. Okay, we might need to go a bit lighter here. And by lighter, I mean down from seven kg to five kg. Fantastic. The level to which my upper body is fatiguing right now is a little bit ridiculous. But it's good to like find that that start point and then start to build up, but basically it's the lowest weight on the stack for everything. Okay, next on my program was meant to be um, an incline cable Y raise, like putting my arms up in a Y shape, but genuinely like I get to here and like it doesn't feel like my arms should go any further. So I'll have to get Soph to swap that one out, but what I'm thinking is I might try uh, a lying cuffed cable lateral raise just to see how it feels because at least that way I don't have to raise my arms like back up and out um, as much so let's see how this feels and literally I've got this on the lowest pin on the stack I'm already starting to feel fatigued in my upper body so like I don't really know how this is gonna go too close too close to the machine fucking bench this is actually starting to get slightly demoralizing i'm not gonna lie i am starting to feel a bit like frustrated now and i don't want to do something that's gonna fuck something up oh, maybe i'll just stick to bicep curls Literally, this is all I can do. This is my range of motion. That's not gonna fucking work, is it? Improvise, adapt, overcome. Let's try a standing unilateral cuff raise and see how this feels. Oh, this feels good, okay. I'm just filming how embarrassing my first upper body workout's going. I can't lift anything. It's okay, they don't see what's the weight. As long as they don't see the weight. Huh? As long as they don't see the weight. It's marketing, you know? 
unilateral cuff lateral raise approved. That one can stick. <laughs> okay, time to try a leaning single arm dumbbell lateral raise. I think the lateral stuff seems like okay. So let's see how this goes. Need a bit more lean. This actually feels really good. It's still weak as piss. Approved. This one's good. Or maybe we'll drop. Right. Guys, please don't laugh at me. Fucking two kilo dumbbell. That feels way better actually. Okay, the penultimate exercise on this learning curve of a training session is going to be some overhead tricep extensions. Um, I don't want to push anything downwards, I just feel like my chest is going to engage, so I'm kind of thinking that should be okay, but we'll see. Um, again, I'm just going to go really light, like as light as possible. So I'm starting off with a 4kg dumbbell, and also this is not unilateral, this is literally both arms. Let's see if I can get it over my head. That would be fun to see. Right. Oh, uh, that kind of feels a bit weird. <laughs> Keep hitting myself in the head. That's not a good start. You know, it just feels like it's like a little bit too much. Like I feel like I'm fatigued and because I'm fatigued, that's why I've got my chest engaging a little bit. Um, so I'm going to leave this here, but I think if I started with tricep work at the start of the training session, it probably wouldn't feel that bad. Uh, but just today, it's just a no-go. Why are there people throwing dumbbells around the camera? 15,000 dirham. Fucking hell. People can't be patient. Okay guys, I'm literally just going to go and do some bicep curls now, some dumbbell bicep curls. I've come to a quiet part of the gym because the asshole cleaners wanted to knock my camera over by putting the dumbbells back where my camera was. I mean, I get it. I get like someone with a camera shouldn't get in your way, but could you not just like wait for a second to put that dumbbell back? No, because you're an asshole. Right, hopefully I'll get some form of pump today, even though it hasn't gone to plan. Oh look, the cleaner's back, following me around. He's probably going to try and knock it over again. So, that's it. I'm going to do another one to two sets of this, and then I'm going to go on the stair master and I'll reflect on how this session went when I get back home. Something's coming back though. Eventually we'll get there. So that session was a really interesting one. I think I went in super positive and I think I went in like with the mindset of, I'm just gonna do what I can and see how it feels. But it ended up being that a lot of that training session actually didn't feel amazing. Like the main things that felt good were any kind of like lateral raises. So the dumbbell lateral raises, the calf lateral raises, that all felt good. Um, bicep curls felt good. I think triceps, anything pushing related, still not fully okay. Anything where my arms are like above here doesn't really feel okay, but it's just because I haven't really got my mobility back and I feel restricted. And also it just feels like there's almost like a strange pressure if I move in a direction which I shouldn't. So does that mean that upper body training won't be effective and I shouldn't do it? Absolutely not, because I can still isolate my biceps. I can still find a way to isolate my triceps and go even lighter. Same thing with, you know, isolating my delts. It can absolutely be done, but it just means that heavy pressing movements and heavy pulling movements probably isn't appropriate. Um, and I think with my mindset of always wanting to do the best I possibly can do, it was hard to find myself in a position where my body wouldn't allow me to. So throughout that training session, I think, you know, your happiness is um, 
your happiness is determined by your expectation. And because I think I had high expectations and I was super excited to get back into upper body training, I was like, yeah, I'm ready to go. My surgeon said I'm ready to go. It didn't necessarily mean that my body was ready to go and that I was going to be up to where, of course, I didn't expect to be up to where I was previously, um, but I did expect to perhaps be able to do a little bit more uh, than I was able to. And I think throughout that session, despite being slightly frustrated at the fact that things weren't going to plan or feeling right, I have I had to keep reminding myself that that was where I was going to find my starting point that was me establishing my starting point and now every single time I go back into the gym anything which is better than those expectations that I now have is going to be great and I'll be really really happy with that so we're going to stick at two lower sessions two upper sessions per week I've also got about an hour of cardio that I'm doing per week just sprinkling it in post-workout on upper days and on some rest days so I'm really feeling good. I feel like my physique is filling out a little bit more than previously, which is great. Um, but I just do think it's going to take a little bit of time until my body starts to resemble the body that I was you know, familiar with before surgery in terms of like my muscularity and my fullness. Um, but I will get there. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this one. It was a pretty honest and raw account of what it's like to get back into training after surgery and after quite a while off. Um, but here's to it going like onwards and upwards from now on. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope that you enjoyed. I will catch you guys in the next video. I will be talking about my competitive season uh, for 2023. And that's why it's so important that I get back into training the the sooner that I can because we're getting back on stage this year which is very exciting so sending you guys lots of love thank you so much please like subscribe all of that good stuff I'll catch you in the next one much love